are going to be roasting pumpkin seeds in the air fryer. The kids were over last night and carved pumpkins and it is a pretty much yearly tradition that we do pumpkin seeds after that. So I'm going to get started on these today and we're going to do them in the air fryer. I've never done them in the air fryer before so this is going to be a learning experience for me and hopefully it'll go good enough that I can recommend it to you. So let's get going and seeing how this process works. First off, we're just gonna start with our pumpkins that have our guts in there. And I put them in a colander and we're just going to rinse over them and try to work the pulp out to get all of this, um, all of the strings and any of the larger pumpkin pieces out that they carved that are still in here. All right, so I have gotten my pumpkin seeds pretty clean at this point. I just keep another bowl over in the other side of the sink and just use that to catch all the pulp. There's still some small pieces in there, uh, but we can get those out as we lay them out to dry. This is something where, um, to make it a little bit easier, you can boil your seeds in salt water for about 10 or 15 minutes and it helps to loosen up some of the strings and stuff on them to get them off. But that took about 10 minutes. So, I mean, it's not a huge time saver. I think also people do that to maybe infuse a little bit of salt, a more salt flavor into theirs, um, but I did not do that this time. So now let's move on to the next step and we're gonna lay them out. I have parchment paper laid out on my counter and we're just gonna lay them out into a single layer and get them ready to dry for about 30 or 45 minutes before we pop them into the air fryer. I do wanna go over something briefly from a previous video that I had done. I will link it up below. It was a price comparison that I had done. And these strainers, um, I had price compared from Walmart and Dollar Tree. And I just wanna give a little bit of an update on those real quick. So this was the silicone one here, and then this is the mesh one there. I definitely recommend the silicone at this point. We've been using them for about two to three months. And I can say I like the silicone better. It stays cleaner. You can see the mesh one has got where it has those fine little holes. Stuff gets stuck in it and it kind of gets nasty and I don't like it. So I'm actually getting ready to throw that one away and get another silicone for that side. I did want to give that updates considering I had um, talked about those in a previous video. I do like to let y'all know what I find out as I use the product here at home. Okay, so at this point, we're just going to lay out our pumpkin seeds. They are very slippery in this stage, so be careful. I have pumpkin seeds almost all over the kitchen at this point. And hopefully you don't hear the washer too bad. I do have laundry going, so um, you can hear me pretty good. And the dogs are behaving today so far, so that's awesome. Anytime I can get a video in and not have the dogs flip out in the middle of it is always a successful day. So I'm just going to pat these around and try to get them in an even layer. And then these big pieces that I see, I just kind of put that over to the side. Um, I don't have too much. This one was really stringy, like very stringy. And you can also put this out on towels um, or like a cheesecloth type towel, like a tea towel. I have a couple of those, but um, they are not clean at the moment. So I'm just using the parchment paper. I'm in no hurry for these to dry today. So I will be home and I can kind of come in and flip them around. And okay, we are ready to start prepping our seeds and getting them into the air fryer. I do have it sitting here and ready. And the ingredients we're going to use, again, I'm just using garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then you do need some oil. Um, our seeds are looking really good. They dried probably for about two hours. And they're, they're pretty much, you know, as good as they're going to get. At this point, if I did any more, I would just let them sit overnight. But um, we're going to go ahead and get this done today. So there is one thing I would recommend that you be careful with doing. If you lay them out on paper towels to dry, um, I have learned in the past that as they dry, they actually will stick to the paper towel. And then when you go to get those off and put them into your bowl, you're having to scrape little paper towel bits off. So I would avoid paper towels. Again, 
um, get some type of like dish towel or um, I just use parchment paper. Again, it takes a little bit longer for them to dry that way, but that was okay because I had the time today. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a, I do a half a teaspoon of oil. quarter of a teaspoon of the garlic, the salt, and the pepper. I don't do a whole lot of um, extra flavoring on these just for us. Again, be very experimental. You can use many different things. I think the most common is smoked paprika. That's one thing that people really like because I like that smoky flavor of them. So we're just going to put in a fourth of each of these. And we'll just judge that. And then we're gonna mix these up really good. Let me grab something here. And you wanna get them all coated. So really get in there to make sure the oil has them coated. See, I told you these things are gonna be all over my kitchen when I'm done today. And with there being oil on these, you will not have to spray your um, air fryer with nonstick spray if you normally do that. And as I'm going, there's still like little bits of string kind of in there that's working their, themselves to the side of the bowl. So I'm just pulling those out as I go. It's no big deal to leave those in there but I'm just pulling them as I find them. And if you want them to be really coated and heavy, you can definitely add more than a fourth of a teaspoon, but I only do a fourth. have a lot of seasoning some does not and that's how I like them I don't like them all to be really heavy so now in a single layer we're just going to pour these in at 365 for 35 minutes I will be turning the preheat off and again one layer in there I'll shake them around after about every seven to eight minutes hey Duchess do you think they're going to like the pumpkin seed video yeah, me too. Let's remind them, give it a thumbs up and to subscribe, right? Good girl. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Damn, I'm a good girl. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is something that I have learned in doing this in the air fryer. Um, if you can hear that, like a popping noise you would think like maybe they were frying like you would hear like it sounds like something like when it's frying how it's popping it's actually as the seeds cook they're getting lighter in weight and so the air is blowing them around um, now I have opened mine up to make sure that it's not getting up into the fan area so mine is made with the the heat coil and then the fan on top which is probably pretty simple in all of them um, but I wanted to make sure that the seeds aren't getting up in there anyhow or causing any issue and I do not see that they are so again this is a complete um, new way of me doing this and I have learned that as they cook and get lighter the air is blowing them around a lot hey guys so I decided to finish outside today it is so pretty and the seeds have gotten done. I did learn something with this experience that 365 for 38, uh, 35 minutes is way too long. I only ran it for 18 minutes and I'm not sure if it's because the air ended up picking them up and so they actually cooked 
more um, fully all the way around I don't know I did end up taking the pan out of the bottom of my basket and so that might have had something to do with it but they were falling down in the holes and laying on the bottom flat so I didn't want those to burn and then the ones on top to not get quite done so I took that out and when I did that again that's when the air started flipping those so I actually didn't have to stir them as much either I did still open the basket every five minutes do a check on the cook and see how far they were along. Um, several of them here, here they are. They're already um, packaged up and ready to go to the kids. You can tell they are definitely covered in the seasoning on some. Some of them are not, and that's great. Also, some of them got a little bit lighter than the others. So I like mine not all completely like the meat shelled out in the middle. So some are still meaty in the middle and nice and crisp, and then the others um, have more of a flaky texture. So I think this is definitely a winning situation with the air fryer. I enjoy doing it this way. Again, with fall, I like to utilize things that we have, um, you know, in our season that we're doing. And with the kids carving pumpkins last night, it's always a great time to do that. There is a couple of things I would like to go over with you on that. Um, if you do a composting pile, please remember to not put your pulp that has the seeds into that. Again, that's gonna grow you a great pumpkin patch, but that's probably not gonna be the soil you wanna use for your next spring's flowers. Also, um, I did keep out a handful of seeds and drying those. They will be kept through the winter, and I will use those to plant for our pumpkin vines next year. So again, I thank y'all so much for coming along and kind of doing an experimental thing with me. I have never used the air fryer for these, but I think it's definitely gonna be an every year thing now. And thank y'all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. We definitely love to hear from you guys. We really appreciate all the support we get from you. You're just like family. So we thank y'all so much and we will see you in the next one.